Hi, I'm Jeff Boyce Cars and this is my Subaru Impreza non-turbo estate and it's rush hour. So bear with me for this video because I'm right by a main road and I'm also fighting the sunlight. So another well-organized video from Jeff Boyce Cars. Anyway, here's my Scooby. A 1999 two litre sport non-turbo. I purchased this car for the purpose of moving house. I needed a car with a tow bar because all my other cars with tow bars either had no MOT or, um, no, that was it. I only had one and it had no MOT. So I bought this. That's just rude, isn't it? I'm trying to shoot a video here. Right, so I bought this. It's done 117,000 miles now. Uh, about 700 of those miles have been with me and it's been absolutely fantastic. I've loved this little car. It's got lots of noises and quirks and it's not the best example in the whole wide world, but it's pretty cool. And um, there's actually a lot less of these available than I thought there were. I seem to think that there was loads of these around. And then when I looked after I'd bought it, um, yeah, they're getting hard to find, aren't they? So. Very cool, it's not a turbo, obviously, and you don't have those bonnet vents and that famous Subaru grill, but that's basically it. That and a turbo is the only difference. So if you wanted to turn this into a turbo replica, which is one of the things I was gonna do, swap the wheels out and um, pop a new bonnet on. Simple as that, I think. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I like the sport that badging that's a little bit missing there. The wheels aren't in fantastic condition. Uh, the biggest problem though is on the other side where I crashed it. Bit of a dent there. We got rust there. Subarus do rust for fun. There's drum brakes on the back by the look of it. Um, yeah, and they're noisy. And uh, the tire on the other side is virtually bold. And it looks to me like there's a lock and wheel nut on there stuck so um a myriad of problems to be dealt with by the new owner but cheap car isn't it cheap car yeah so what else we got tow bar on the back which is the reason i bought it um crossroads garage not a bad service history on this actually i will put that up in a moment the history's not too bad what's this anyone looks like it's had a sticker on there um right that was me I'm sorry, uh, I reversed into a fence post and in the process of reversing into the fence post, exposed a lot of bad filler work along this panel. So I suspect if you get a screwdriver, start tapping away, right? There'll be nothing left of the car. It'd be like that scene from um, Father Ted, wouldn't it? It would be one of them. Yeah, that was me. Sorry about that. Yeah, real stupid move, but it was late at night and I was reversing the trailer and I thought, oh yeah, I can just squeeze through there, but I couldn't squeeze through there. That was the problem. Right. Not a huge boot on an Impreza. Um, oh look, they haven't cleaned that bit. And the bonnet struts do not stay up, which is a right pain in the butt. Um, and this fell on my head multiple times whilst we were moving house. Yeah, that needs a vacuum. I don't know what that is, that powder down there. It's not drugs. It's some of Mrs. Jeff's like flipping, I don't know what she buys, organic, whatever, something powdered, whatever she's buying this week. It'll be some kind of like hugely expensive organic powder that will sit in the cupboard for months and months on end before I finally throw it out. And she'll be like, oh yeah, I was gonna use that. No, you weren't. Lover. Right, in the back, let's go inside and out the noise. Oh, they haven't done a very good job of getting rid of my cat hairs. Have they actually cleaned this car? Um, right, cat hairs should have been vacuumed off the seats. Maybe I only paid them for a mini valet and I should have paid them for a proper valet. But generally, not bad in, inside here. And it no longer smells, whereas it did smell this morning. The cabin layout of a Subaru Impreza is super simple. It's old school. It's from the old fashioned days when cars were just easy to drive and easy to understand. Right, let's have a little look. The heating system. One knob on the left for where you want the air, one knob on the right for how hot you want the air, and then a slidey dial for whether you want the air to recirculate inside the cabin or go out the cat or come from outside the cabin, and then a slidey dial for how fast you want the air to go. Simple, so simple. Then there's three buttons down here. That is your headlamp wash wipe. That moves your lights up and down. That one, I don't know. Someone who knows Subarus, tell me. Um, it's got the original Subaru tape player. It's obviously a five-speed. This is the button that does something. 
Is this low range and high range? You can tell I've done a lot of research on these Subarus. I'm pretty sure that puts it into low range mode. But again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I haven't used it. I literally bought this car, put the trailer on it and used it to move house. It handles really well. I mean, even without a turbo, it just goes. It's so much fun. Um, and I can show you actually, because this car, uh, I can mount my phone in the middle so we can go for a little rag. Uh, 117,000 miles, some service history up to about 105, I think. Not much service history for the last few years. And uh, noisy, there's a wheel bearing noise coming from the back. But generally, pretty cool and sturdy. It's just got the feel of a car that's gonna last forever. Regardless of what goes wrong, it's gonna last forever. Right, let's start her up and see if the engine light comes on. So, key, 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 yeah, old school, super key. Oh God, this hasn't been one of my best videos, has it? Oh well, pay for what you get, I suppose. Someone said to me the other day, how much money do you make off of YouTube? Well, I've almost had 100,000 views now, and uh, so far I've earned 55 quid, genuinely. Right, what we got there? We got a check engine light, which is gonna go out in a bit. It does. Um, it doesn't use any oil, it doesn't use any coolant, and it doesn't use any, um, that's it, isn't it? Oil and coolant. It doesn't use much petrol, actually. It's pretty good on fuel. So, let's go for a little rag around the block. That was a nice quick video, wasn't it? But to be fair, um, there's not a lot to say about this car. I didn't buy it specifically for the channel. I, I, I bought it to move house. I've just always liked them. Um, let's put the windows up. I've never ever been attacked by a vicious dog on a YouTube video before. So that's quite exciting. Um, and if you're like anything like me, and I suspect you are, and then sometimes, late at night, what you do is you go on YouTube and you look at silly YouTube videos. And one of the things that I think is quite silly to look at on YouTube is like, animal attacks, man gets attacked by, and then just whatever animal comes up, sea lion or whatever it might be. Um, so there you go, I basically made my own. This is the idiot in a van trying to defeat an, an another idiot in a Mazda MX-5. You're just both a pair of idiots. Um, Right, there we go. What else about Subarus? Uh, you need to buy a Subaru Impreza Classic right now, whilst you still can, because everybody's gonna realize that they've all disappeared and the values are gonna start shooting up. They already have. You used to be able to buy turbos for no money. And the problem with the Subaru Impreza is they are bought by people called Kevin and Dave. And uh, Kevin and Dave like to take their Imprezas up to like a billion horsepower and then put like, uh, and, then, and then crash them. So, Finding an unmolested Subaru Impreza turbo is virtually impossible. So what you're gonna have to do is buy one from Kevin and then unmolest it um, by putting the wheels back to standard, putting the suspension back to the normal height and putting all the engine stuff back to the way it should have been when it left the factory. But that is just the nature of the market. It's that kind of car. It appeals to those sort of people. And I love Dave's and I love Kevin because I love everyone, me. And I love what people do to cars, whether they like them or not. But the classic car market is full of boring people who need everything to be factory standard. Basically. Incidentally, if you're a classic car auction house and you want me on the rostrum, that's what I want to do, okay? If you're watching this and you know somebody works at an auction house and you've been to a classic car auction and you've thought, my God, this is boring as hell. Why isn't Richard Rawlings here getting drunk at the front? What you need is Jeff buys cars on the rostrum telling everybody why they should buy cars as they go across the block. That's what I want to be doing. That's my next career change. So, if you know someone at an auction house, hit me up, because I reckon I'll be really good at that. 
I reckon revenues at the auction house. I don't want to do like, I don't want to be selling like E-types and that sort of stuff. I want to do like a, like a modern classics auction, cars between like 300 quid and about 30,000 pounds. I'm not interested in anything more expensive than that because there's no point. Um, it's not fun, it doesn't, it becomes less fun at that sort of money. Maybe I need to do a Jeff Buys Cars like car auction. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? How can I make that happen? Anyway, this is meant to be a review of my Subaru Impreza. Um, yeah, there's an odd noise coming from the back. And, um, I don't know, it sounds to me like it's coming from the rear left, so I suspect it's wheel bearing. I think it needs some brakes. I think it probably needs a service. But, if you don't want to do any of that stuff, you just want to rag the shit out of it for 12 months, then it's good to go. It's noisy. I, I, I really do. I like this little Impreza. I've been using it a lot. It's been our go-to car for the last two weeks and uh, we've put loads of miles on it. Yeah, not much else to say really. Why has this review been rubbish? That's a good question. Because um, I'm trying to get the Subaru footage online in time to potentially give it away for a tenner. Or sell it to Shaggers from down south. Shaggers, if you want this car, you can have it. Just make me an offer. Um, Shaggers is actually just a Welsh guy. That's the most stereotypical, like, is that a racist name? He was the only Welsh guy in the surf club at university, so obviously we called him Shaggers, because he's shag sheep, because everybody knows that Welsh people shag sheep. Which is hilarious, I've never, ever, ever met a Welsh person who has admitted that he's shagged the sheep. Schoolyard nicknames. What was your schoolyard nickname? Tell me your nickname in the comments. Are you Welsh? Did people call you shaggers? Have you ever shagged a sheep? Are you not Welsh, but you've shagged a sheep? Let me know in the comments whilst I try to pull out of the most horrendous junction ever. Should we just go for it? I mean, I'm driving a cheap car that's already damaged, so I'll just pull out on someone. Someone's got to let me in, haven't they, eventually. YouTube's most boring car channel.